the Green Bay Packers. Uh, they got walloped by their division rival Minnesota Vikings in yeah. week one. Um, the offense did not look good. The lack of chemistry between Aaron Rodgers and his pass catchers was was obvious to anybody watching. Um, but it is week one, so I'll ask you the same question. Would you say the Green Bay Packers are in trouble, or have we not really seen what they are yet? Well, I think both of those things are true. They are in trouble, and we haven't seen what they are yet. Let, let me explain. Uh, there is not much time. Let me sum up. No, let me explain. Um, <laughs> thank you, Princess Bride reference for those that don't know. Um, the, the Green Bay Packers got walloped last year. They had to play uh, the Saints, but the Saints, it was a neutral site game. I think they played in Jacksonville because of a hurricane last year. I can't remember exactly where they played. And they got stomped, and everyone was like, oh, Aaron Rodgers doesn't care, and this, this, this. I'm like, guys, shut up. He, they're going to be fine. This is why they're not going to be fine for the foreseeable future in 2022. Outside of Randall Cobb, there was not a single wide receiver on the Green Bay Packers roster that played in that game that Aaron Rodgers had ever played an NFL game with before. Okay? They have a completely brand new receiving core across the board. Alan Lazard didn't play. Hopefully he can get back on the field very soon. But they lost Equinemius St. Brown. They lost Devontae Adams. They lost Marquez Valdez Scanley. So the idea, like, like Peyton Manning once missed an entire preseason because of a, 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 burst, a, a bursa sack injury under his knee. Say that and 10 times fast. A bursa sack injury under his <laughs> knee. I'll say it one more time. The uh, and, and he had a great line where he said, because they struggled out of the gate. They barely won a game week one, and they went three and four in their first seven games. And he said, guys, it would be disrespectful to the game of football to think that I could miss the entire preseason and training camp and show up and just dominate. Yeah. And they they went three and four out of the gate that year. I think it was 2008. And then they won their last uh, nine games to finish 12 and four and, and won the division going away. That's the issue going forward for the Green Bay Packers. They're going to struggle until – Aaron Rodgers and this brand new bunch of receivers are on the same plane or on the same field or on the yeah. same wavelength. Um, the defense is not the same as it was a year ago. The offensive right. line is not as good as it was a year ago. Like I'm glad David Bakhtiari is back, but he ain't the David Bakhtiari he was before the injury the last couple of years. Um, there were a couple of throws where Aaron Rodgers could have hit a home run for an easy touchdown, but he didn't have time to throw because of the offensive line issue. So <laughs> It's the easiest thing in the world to say, oh, they lost week one last year. They'll be fine. This ain't the same Packers. This is not the same Packers team doing it. They're going to struggle. I think they'll get it right. And I think eventually they might even win the division, even though I think Minnesota is the best team in that division right now. Yeah. But it's it's going to take multiple weeks for the Green Bay Packers to get right. So this is kind of a huge game for them, week two in Lambeau.